we going to perform estimation of reducing sugar by DNSA method. Next, in this video, explaining how to estimate the amount of reducing sugar. That in this experiment, we are going to take glucose as reducing sugar. We go to estimate the amount of glucose present in unknown solution by DNSA method. DNSA means dinitrosalicylic acid. We are going to use dinitrosalicylic acid and treat it with glucose that is reducing sugar and we get the component red color compound. Then we find the absorbance of color compound by using calorimetry. Next, let's know how reagents are prepared. First, dinitrosalicylic acid reagent is prepared by 1 gram of dinitrosalicylic acid, 1 gram of sodium hydroxide, 40 gram of potassium sodium tartarate, 200 mg of phenol, 50 mg of sodium sulfide and dissolved in 100 ml of distilled water. Next, standard solution is prepared by 1 mg of glucose plus 100 ml of distilled water. Procedure, this is the simple protocol for this experiment. Protocol of any experiment in biochemistry is nothing but a simple way of writing the whole experiment in a tabular column. First, we have to take 6 test tubes, label them as 0 0.0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8 and 1. Then, we put out the standard solution in each test tube. In the first test tube, 0, the test tube should be blank. Likewise, in all test tubes for 0.2 test tube, take 0 0.2 ml standard solution and then for 0.4 prepared out 0.4 ml standard solution and for 0.6 prepared out 0.6 ml standard solution and then for 0.8 prepared out 0.8 ml standard solution and for 1 prepared out 1 ml standard solution. Make the volume with distilled water. In the first test tube, add 2 ml of distilled water. Add the distilled water accordingly so the total volume in each pouring tube is equal to 2 ml. Calorimeter Working of calorimeter is mainly based on Beer Lambert's law. This law states that the light absorption when passes through a medium are directly proportional to the concentration of the medium.